Yo, it's working! Welcome back, friends. Thank you for joining me today on this video. Now, unfortunately, uh, even though there's propellers attached to a full-size car, the full-size car should not be flying today. I know the last time I said something really shouldn't be flying, it actually flew and then chopped my arm up pretty badly, uh, and I had to get some stitches, so the car should be heavy enough to prevent this from taking off into the air today. Um, anyway, right here we have a essentially a seesaw. And this contraption is meant to teach my onboard flight computer how to balance something this big in the air. You see, online I found instructions for making a drone this big fly and balance, making a drone maybe this big fly and balance. Uh, this drone is using four foot diameter propellers and it's going to be a couple hundred pounds and I'm going to be a pilot riding on top of it. There's not really instructions online for how to make a flight controller handle that situation. So I'm kind of on my own here and I'm going to try to teach it how to make it balance and stay perfectly flat. By the way, actually, before we go further, um, do you think I need a haircut? I think I do. Uh, I've just been letting it grow out just personally because I've never been allowed to grow it out before. Uh, and I think it's getting pretty annoying. So I built this. I built this device, it, it takes some scissors, and the scissors go into it, and it like chops. Uh, after building it, I realized it looks like a castration device, but trust me, it is meant for hair, and all you need is a vacuum cleaner. I've been kind of afraid to try it, uh, but if that interests you, please leave a comment. I'll, I'll be happy to make a video about the Hair Castrator 3000, okay? Uh, but not today. Today we're going to be using that laptop, hopefully not the fire extinguisher. Let's get started. Okay, everything is about ready to go. I've plugged everything on, everything's powered on and ready. Now begins the testing, which I'll be completing inside the car. We are recording just in case something goes catastrophically wrong. All right, arm. Oh, man. Yo, it's working. That is so cool. Okay, number one, uh, the control stick is backwards. At least based on my orientation to the craft, it's backwards. So let's fix that. Come on! Come! Yes! 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 Okay! Okay! Come on! Alright, it's been about an hour. I've gotten the proportional and derivative values tuned in pretty good, at least at low speeds. Now I'm going to crank it up to maximum speed. I was unable to reach max speed because we hit a resonance. Maybe the resonance will go away at higher speeds. Famous last words. Nope. Nope. I wish I could afford carbon fiber. No! Quit! No! This wood, this wood is just so shaky, it just starts to resonate. Hey, if any of you out there know of a free or like an almost free source for big carbon fiber tubes, let me know. Come on. No, no, quit. Stop doing that. Oh, there we go. It just jumped right past it. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, it's actually lifting my car. I can feel it lift the whole car by a few inches. That's crazy. I have a goal of creating a flying car on a very, very minimalistic budget and uh, we'll ultimately be using six to eight or maybe even more of these four foot diameter propellers to fly myself up and around in the air for just like a couple thousand dollars. Uh, and that's the plan. A lot of people were suggesting, Joseph, stop, stop putting yourself in danger. They're saying, hey, hey, get yourself out of harm's way. Put a test dummy in the seat. Fly it around remote control first. That's actually illegal. Even if I got a professional drone license with the, from the FAA Part 107, it has a maximum weight limit of 55 pounds. This is going to be quite a bit heavier than 55 pounds. So for this to be legal, for me to be able to show you my research without getting a Karen telling the FAA what I'm up to, I have to do it legally. And actually, me sitting in it makes it legal. 
if I got out of the seat and flew it around remotely, that would be illegal. But if I sit in the seat, it's perfectly legal. It's kind of cursed that the law is forcing me to kind of be a little bit extra dangerous here. But, I mean, just go look at my previous videos. Being dangerous isn't going to stop me.